we know the measured surface temperature of Earth is 288 Kelvin. However, based on Stephen Boltzmann law, the theoretical, theoretically calculated surface temperature is just 255 if we assume the, the Earth is black body. In history, that is why the greenhouse effect was proposed in order to explain this apparent discrepancy. In this short talk, I will show that this discrepancy disappears once we describe the Earth as a proper gray body instead of black body. First, I just want to tell you the result I obtained so far. In this table, you can see that the Earth can either be described as a black body or gray body. If we describe the Earth as black body, the surface temperature would be 255K in the presence of the atmosphere. In the absence of atmosphere, the surface temperature would be 278K. Not too bad. 278K is uh, equivalent to 5 degrees Celsius above the ice point. However, there is always discrepancy if we just based on the uh, black body radiation formula. If, however, if we describe the Earth as a gray body, then this discrepancy disappears. For example, if we describe the uh, emissivity of Earth uh, is 0 0.87 in the absence of the atmosphere, the surface temperature will automatically equal to 288K. That, was, that is observed value. On the other hand, in the presence of atmosphere, the calculated result or predict a theoretically predicted temperature of the Earth's surface, again, will be 288K. So now as we as use, we're using uh, emissivity 0 0.6. By the way, the emissivity was by definition is a co is coefficient used to describe the gray body radiation. In the absent, if the body is a black body, these coefficient will be equal to unit according to Stephen Boltzmann law. All right, let's just go to some detail how these result have been observed, have been predicted. So first of all, let's look at this, uh, the dark curve here that will represent the radiation intensity as a function of temperature for a black body when the emissivity is a unit. Okay. Now, if we adjust these parameters called emissivity down to, uh, say, can you see that? If it reduce the emissivity, then the curve became different. Okay. So you can see the green, green curve, the green curve will be different. You see that is where the emissivity down to 0 0.4 so you can imagine that some surface like a polished, a polished steel, the emissivity is even lower, 0 0.2. So let's go to 0 0.2. So you can see, apparently that the curve, the, the, the intensity dependence of the on temperature for the gray body is, is, is different. If we just consider that, if we just stop this uh, emissivity at a certain point, say 0 0.87, that is uh, the maximum emissivity based on my analysis. 0 0.87, okay, 0 0.87. Okay, this is a green, this blue, can you see the vertical line here? The vertical line, the vertical line will represent the temperature reading. So at this moment, the temperature reading is exactly equal to 
288 Kelvin, which is um, observed surface temperature of Earth. Now you can see that at the same temperature, at the same temperature, the intensity for the black body is higher than that of gray body, which is understandable. That is by definition that uh, in general, any gray body whose emissivity is always uh, smaller than unit. Now, in order to explain that uh, the surface temperature of Earth, let's just consider, just return to the uh, black body radiation first, so that let's just uh, adjust the emissivity back to unit. So you want to see the dark curve. Next, let's bring back to the budget of the sonar radiation at the surface of Earth. In doing so, we first of all, we just uh, adjust. So this is a, this horizontal line will represent the sonar radiation intensity at the surface of Earth. Now in the absence, let's consider the simple case. In the absence of atmosphere, the, the parameter called albedo were reduced to, you, to zero. So that would be the situation, that would be the budget of the sonar radiation intensity at the surface of Earth, which is approximately 200, 342 watt per square meter. Now, let's look at the intersection of, these, uh, of the horizontal line with this uh, black curve. From this reading, you can see that the temperature is equal to 278.6, approximately 278. So that would be the temperature. That would be the temperature that in the absence of atmosphere, the Earth's temperature would be. Of course, this result is obtained by assuming the Earth is a black body. Of course, our Earth and nobody can be treated as perfectly as a black body. So in order to explain that the surface temperature is still uh, 288, let's adjust the emissivity of, of the gray body. Can you see? When I change the emissivity, the green light will shift toward the right side. By the time we reach to the, by the, by the time the emissivity is 0 0.87, let's read the intersect, in intercept here. The temperature will be exactly equal to 288 Kelvin. Okay. You can see here, in the absence of atmosphere, there is apparent difference between the predict, theoretically predicted temperature, depending on whether a black body or a gray body uh, is used. Now let's consider a more realistic scenario. Let's just uh, return to this, uh, return to this uh, emissivity back to unit. And uh, also, let's just, uh, uh, let's just this time let's adjust the uh, the albedo. So we just consider that uh, in the presence of atmosphere, including the clouds. So the value uh, people used nowadays is zero point three, approximately zero point three. Let's go to zero point three. Okay, 0 0.3, 0 0.9, yeah, okay, okay. 0 0.3, so you can see that in the presence of atmosphere, the effective uh, sonar intensity at the surface of Earth is reduced to 239 uh, watt per square meter. Okay, so that would be the budget. So based on this intensity and based on uh, the assumption that the Earth can be treated as a black body, let's read the surface temperature. So we can look for the intercept here. So the surface temperature is 255. Okay. That is why, that is a number 
people obtained centuries ago, and they became concerned that uh, there is such apparent difference between the measured temperature, uh, 288 Kelvin, and uh, the predicted temperature, 255. So they became very, very a little bit concerned. Not a, they became very concerned. So that is why they propose that uh, yeah, well, there must be a greenhouse effect in the presence of atmosphere. But in this explanation, you don't have to. So now as, let me see what would happen if we just treat the Earth as a gray body. Understandably, the emissivity would be uh, reduced. So let's just reduce emissivity to see what would happen. Okay, can you see the green curve moved when I reduce the emissivity? Now this uh, zero point seven. By the time we reach to 0 0.6, very interesting thing happened. So by the time they reach to 0 0.6 approximately, and if we just read the intersection, can we just read the intercept again? That will give you the number 288 Kelvin. What does that mean? These simply imply that uh, if we treat the Earth as a gray body with the emissivity of effective emissivity uh, equal to 0 0.6 in the presence of atmosphere, then the observed surface temperature can be theoretically explained without invoking the greenhouse effect.